Okay, today we're going to learn about the metric micrometer. Uh, the big difference between the metric and the standard, uh, and the easiest way to identify one from the other is the, the inch micrometer has 25 graduations on the thimble. That would be this part here. And the metric mic will have 50 graduations. And on the metric mic we have here in the center, this is our reference line, or some people call it a datum line. So we're looking at the intersection between this line and the face of the thimble. This is the barrel or the sleeve, and this is the thimble. Okay, so for this reading here, we would count on the bottom, these are millimeters. One, two, three, four, five, and so on, like that on the bottom. And on the top are half millimeters, and you notice that the graduation marks don't touch the the reference line and I really like them to touch and on the stairs they do. So on this one here, this particular reading of this mic, it looks like we have 10 millimeters and we've just passed the half millimeter so that would read 10.50. The half millimeters always read 0 .50 and on the thimble, whatever you read there, it's going to be 0 .10. So we're going to add it together. We're going to take 10 millimeters, 0 0.50 plus 0 0.10, and that makes 10.60 millimeters. Okay, so let's open it up a little bit more and see what we get. And we'll flip it around to maybe right, let's go right here. That would be good. So with this example, we see that we have 10 millimeters. Now we just went to 11 millimeters. So we have 11 millimeters. We do not have the 0.5. So all we have is 8, 9, 10, 11 millimeters, 0.15. So that reading there would be 11.15 millimeters. And let's go, we can go pretty far. Uh, and the reason we can go pretty far is because uh, with this particular micrometer, uh, on the metric it will read from 0 to 25, the next size will be 25 to 50, where with the inch mic we read 0 to 1 inch, 1 to 2 inch. So these are in 25 millimeter increments. So with this particular reading, it's a little bit trickier, that's why I chose this one. We have 10, 11, 12, and we're almost at 13. We're not at 13 yet. If we were, this zero up on the thimble would be lined up. It would be 10.10 millimeters bigger. So right now we have 10, we have 11, we have 12, and we're almost at 13. So we have 12 at millimeters, and then we have the 0 0.50, and then we have the 0 0.40 here. So we have 12 point nine zero millimeters. So these get a little bit tricky here and I'll show you another one that will be a little bit tricky when you run into it. These right in here, right before the 10. They get a little bit tricky because uh, it's going to be a zero in front of the number. So here we have 10 millimeters, 11, 12, we have 13 millimeters and then we don't have 13 point five six seven point seven we have thirteen point zero seven so at the five it would be point zero five point zero six point zero seven point zero eight point zero nine and then point ten okay so if it's below ten it's going to be point zero something so this would be ten eleven twelve thirteen point zero seven millimeters Okay, now let me show you a Sterrett mic. I'll pull this one out of the way and put the Sterrett mic here. The Sterrett mic is just a little bit different, which uh, most people do like the Sterrett. And we can see that on the Sterrett we have the metric, uh, the millimeters on top. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we're not at 8 yet. We're at 7 millimeters. We have a 50 at the bottom, that's 7.50, plus it looks like we have 33. So we add that all together and we have 7.83 millimeters. 
So we have 5, 6, 7, 7.50 plus 7.33. So that would be 7.83 millimeters on that metric mic. So good luck with the mic reading. And if you have questions, I'll be in the lab to answer any questions you have. And good luck on the lab.